Hi everyone, welcome to another chemistry video. Today we're going to be looking at how to actually calculate equilibrium constant of Kp, right? Of course, P represents partial pressure. So therefore, we are actually calculating the equilibrium constant, okay, where the partial pressure information is available or obtainable from the question. So usually for the Kp calculations, we are actually dealing with uh, substance which is actually existing in the gaseous states. As you can see here in this particular reaction, we have the uh, dinitrogen tetroxide to actually convert to the nitrogen dioxide. So in this case, the question actually stated that uh, the N2O4 is actually 50% dissociated at a constant temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So they wanted us to calculate Kp for this reaction given the total pressure of the system is 3 atm. So therefore, as usual, when you want to start off the uh, calculation, you start to construct your ice table, which is actually representing initial change and equilibrium, right? For those who actually wanted to learn how to actually construct ice table, which is basically essential in all KCKP calculation, be sure to actually use the link right above right now, right? To actually access to my video on how to construct the ice table for calculation of KC and KP. So, yep, uh, in this case, this question here basically stated just that 50% of the reactant of N2O4 actually dissociated, right, uh, at a constant temperature. So therefore, no moles were actually given to us. So you're free to actually use uh, whatever moles that you wish to use as the initial number of moles of N2O4. Now, I decided to actually use one mole, right? Uh, and of course, uh, the other side, NO2, will be zero mole because they didn't mention anything about it. So you, you just have to make sure that you do 50% uh, of this N2O4 to be dissociated. 50% of 1 is actually obviously 0.5, okay, minus that off, you're going to get the equilibrium number of moles of N2O4 to be 0.5. Then after that, the uh, NO2 on the other side, okay, the change for one mole, remember, is actually 0.50, because it's on the product side, okay, you should always have the amount to increase, so therefore it's plus, and of course, times 2, why times 2? Because there are 2 moles of NO2, so the change is actually for 2 moles, so therefore, 2 times positive 0.5. So the equilibrium number of moles is already written as one mole for NO2. And the equilibrium number of moles of N2O4 again is 0.5. Now be sure to actually calculate out first the total number of moles uh, that you have at equilibrium. In this case, I've shown you the total number of moles is actually 1.5 moles as a result of 0.5 plus one mole of the NO2. So very important because uh, what we're going to be showing you now is that we're needing to actually calculate the partial pressure of each gas that we're seeing in this equilibrium. So first of all, right, to calculate the partial pressure of this uh, N2O4, you need to actually calculate the uh, uh, partial pressure by using the number of moles of the N2O4, which is 0.5, as stated here from the ice table, divide with the total number of moles, which we have calculated right above, multiply with the total pressure. So remember, yeah, uh, this section over here, 0.5 divided by 1.5 is literally your mole fraction. Okay, you need to always remember, take your mole fraction, multiply with total pressure in order for you to get the, yeah, this one, the partial pressure of N2O4 here. Now, very important, yeah, just make sure you remember how to actually calculate this particular uh, partial pressure, okay? We're going to move on to look at another uh, partial pressure calculation. This time, we're going to calculate partial pressure for the uh, NO2. Right at the bottom over here, right, the same thing, we actually use the number of moles of the NO2, which is actually one mole at equilibrium, divide with the total number of moles at equilibrium, which is actually 1.5, multiply by 3. So uh, with this, uh, you're actually going to be getting the uh, answer to be 2 atm. So these are the respective uh, partial pressure, okay, of the N2O4 and also the partial pressure of NO2. Right, so once we have gotten this partial pressure, we can move on and uh, put in our information into our Kp expression over here. Oh, by the way, this is actually a Kp expression, right? So you should already know by now that uh, you always need to write your Kp expression, whereby the product partial pressure will be on top, divide with the partial pressure of the reactant. Now, always remember, uh, you need to power to the number of moles that you see on the stoichiometry equation. So therefore, in this case, there's two moles of NO2. That's why we are actually powering the number of moles of NO2 here by two, right? Just sum in the value, right? Remember, the partial pressure of NO2 is 2 atm. Partial pressure of N2O4 is 1 atm. Sub in the value, just like this, you're going to get your answer, which actually turns out to be 4 atm, right? So uh, the unit remaining will actually be just uh, one unit of uh, uh, pressure 
which is therefore um, I'm leaving the answer as ATM over here. All right, so um, yeah, that's about it. That's basically the uh, KP calculation video here. If you like this video, just make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a like, make sure you press that like button, right? Share it with your friends, right? Comment, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It will motivate me to do more videos like this. All right, with that, thank you very much. My name is Lucas Chan. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.